gods of dreams. No. Dreams of gods and monsters. Gods of dreams of monsters. Gods of... <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it's now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I will leave both their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group, if you guys want to join us. Today's topic is the top five books that you want to read by the end of this year. So I have no particular order, they're just ones that I saw on my shelf and I was like, totally want to read those. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I really want to read by the end of this year is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I don't have it on me right now because my mom is actually reading it. So I don't have the physical copy, so look at this beautiful picture. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> I recently read the first three books in the Lunar Chronicles and I absolutely adore them. And I want to read Heartless when it comes out so I need to finish Winter by the end of this year so that I can read Heartless and Stars Above and whatever the other one is that I can't remember the name of. But all the Lunar Chronicles series I'm obsessed with so I need to finish that book so I can say that I've completed the series. Next is Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I also have the third book, which is Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which I also want to finish by the end of this year because I loved the first book, but they're just, they're huge books, and we all know Jay does not do big books well. So, hopefully I can get to them. That's my goal, it's gonna happen. Maybe. The third book that I'm hoping to get to this year is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I have a super cute story about this book. My mom bought it for me when I was feeling super homesick during university a couple of months ago. And so she bought it for me in this little care package and it was like the cutest thing ever. I just haven't got into it yet, but I really need to get to it. I read Eleanor and Park a couple months ago and it was my first Rainbow Rowell book and I absolutely loved it. So I'm thinking I'll probably love this one. It's a lot of people's favorite, so hopefully I can get to it and I will love it as much as everybody else. Next book. I know, shame on me for like all of these books, but like shame on me hardcore for this one. It's Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I know, I still have not read it. I have this one and I have Crown of Midnight and I need to read them so badly and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's apparently super hard to get into, but once you get into it, it's really good. I know that the fifth book in the series is coming out. I only own the first two, so I really need to get to it so that I can just binge read all of them. But then again, I don't have the third, fourth, or fifth book, so I don't want to go buy them because I'm cheap, so eh. The final book that I'm hoping to get to by the end of this year slash kind of series, I guess. I'm just going to hold up one of them because your girl too lazy to go on her shelf and take down the rest of them. So it is... The Clockwork Princess, and this is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, and I also need to read the last three books in the Mortal Instruments series to say that I finally completed it and y'all can get off my back. And also, I love these books, so like I'm not complaining because they're so good and I need to finish them because I need to know what happens. Also, honorable mention, just so Molly won't bite my head off, Harry Potter. I need to read Harry Potter by the end of this year. It's gonna happen, Molly, I swear. It'll happen, I promise. Maybe December 31st, but it will still happen. All right, guys, so that was my top five books that I need to read by the end of this year. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.